what keeps you going? Because most people don't do the follow-up or they, or they do it for a week and then they stop and like, tell us the secret to your success when it comes to being determined and, and holding yourself accountable to actually get that done. Uh, I don't know. I just, everything I've ever done, I just want to, I want to be the best and I want to be like, I want to be the best. I want people to, and no disrespectful way, but like I want people to come into Katie like I did. And I want them to look at who the best is. I want them to think in their mind and have the idea that I want to be number one. I want to be number one because everybody wants to be number one. And then I want them to come in and I want them to look at the numbers. And then after they look at my stuff, I want them to say, okay, I'm okay with being number two. And, right. <laughs> and, and that that's that's one of the things like just with baseball I always wanted that and, and with, with anything I've ever done I've always wanted that. But like the thing is like you only understand baseball unless you played it. But the game never loves you back. Even the best players in the world. It doesn't matter. The game doesn't love you back, whether you're a pitcher or a hitter. If you're the best hitter in the world and you hit three twenty, okay, so you're failing six hundred and eighty yeah. percent out of a thousand so 68 percent of the time you're feeling and you're the best in the yeah. world hitting three you're feeling constantly so it's like right you just keep getting up getting to the bat which yeah, i yeah, love that just, analogy uh Co- coach robichaud had done one of our quarterly meetings and you know i didn't realize that because i don't play baseball but it's constant failure that's all the game you is. fail more than you succeed but if, yeah. if you don't get up to bat you never you you, you can't hit exactly right yeah, people are scared of objections.